Let's do this. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up, what's up, guys? Whoo, man, it's hot. It is hot as heck. About to go into the gym. Today is a back day. I'm gonna start off with deadlifts. Last week I did 225 for sets of eight reps on deadlifts. Um, kind of still afraid to go any heavier than 225. So that's what we're gonna start off with and then we'll probably just hit your typical back day stuff. Rows and uh, lat pull downs, pull ups, all that good stuff. So we'll see what we get into. All right, see you guys in the gym. What's up everybody? Coming at you with another commentary today on this back day. Started this workout off with some deadlifts. This was my final warm up set before I move into my working weight, uh, which was 225 pounds. Working on building that barn door back. You guys already know, trying to get wide, trying to get thick. These deadlifts right here, they, they went pretty well, you know, with the back issue that I've had for the longest time. Anyways, yeah, they went pretty well. Back held up pretty well. Um, you can see the sweat already starting to kick in. We did about four sets here at 225, which was our working weight. Didn't want to go too crazy, just kind of, you know, getting it done. Also, I stayed with double overhand grip to work on my grip strength. And we did around 8 to 12 reps on each set. I was going to talk about this t-shirt earlier, but uh, Muscle Mob Apparel, Toro Fit. It's a good shirt. I haven't talked about it yet in any of my videos. You guys go check them out. He just started this apparel line. Some good shirts. Check out the back if you can see it. Should be able to see that. I hope. 225. All right, all right. This part right here, this was supposed to be pinlay rows. But I started off doing what I believe is pinlay rows, and then I immediately just switched into doing bent over rows for some reason. I don't know. I, I just... We had a conversation prior to this, me and the guys I was training with about how, what was the proper way to do it. We were built doing it two separate ways. So you see me here, I was pulling towards my stomach more. But moving on, did some pull-ups. I failed pretty hard at pull-ups because I was gassed out. And my forearms were just dead from all the deadlifting and all the other stuff. So then we moved on. Next, we did the close grip lat pull-downs. Probably did around eight to 12 reps with four, probably about four sets. I like to switch it up every once in a while with these lat pull downs. Normally we do them like with a really wide grip, but switching to the different handles and different grip angles, hitting the back at different ways. I find I get like a real deep soreness in the lower part of my lats uh, from doing these close grips. So we, we like to switch it up from time to time. And here's Marcos just being a beast on these pull-ups. So here we go doing these face pulls, these rope cable face pulls, cable rope face pulls, however you want to say it. I decided to do these. I haven't done these in a while. I think I was watching a video a couple days ago and I was, I don't remember who it was, but they were doing these and I was like, man, I haven't done those in a while. Um, you know, it hits the rear delts more, but sometimes it's just an area that you you neglect you don't specifically train it so much we were just having a, a laugh there about something that somebody was saying off camera but uh here we go moving on to these barbell curls these are the same ones you guys saw the other day uh with when the video of me and frank which if you didn't see that i'll put it up in the corner and these were uh i call them drag body curls i think that's what frank started calling them because you drag it up your body and uh it really isolates the bicep. So with that set, this is actually a super set. Uh, that was a 60 pound barbell and then we did that for eight reps and then you pick up the 30 and you do immediately 12 to 15 reps like fast. First ones you're supposed to go slow. But that's the workout guys. I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, we're back at the house. It's time for a post-workout meal because shit just got real. So, uh, I've already got my shower and I cooked dinner. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating on and then I'm gonna get out of here. I'll let you guys go on about your day. 
So this is dinner tonight. I got about ooh, about eight ounces or so, maybe a little bit more of grilled chicken with some barbecue sauce, and then my basic white rice, half a bag of white rice, and then this is a green giant microwavable uh, broccoli and cheese. Doesn't that just look delicious? Not really this, but this looks amazing. So that's dinner. Working on some editing. So that's the video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I just want to thank everybody for their support. Um, everybody who's been my new subscribers, my old subscribers, all you guys that comment every single video, watch the video, like the video. I mean, it really means a lot to me, and I've been thinking about how I can show you guys my support even more than what I already do. I, I mean, I get on and I watch everybody's videos, and you know, I try to keep up with all that. As everybody else already knows, you guys know how hard it is if you have a YouTube channel yourself. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank everybody, and uh, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.